is going on, everybody? This is Corn Beer today. It's September 5th, 2013. And I want to get started with a, a little bit of Diablo, I guess, news or update. Um, I haven't played the game since I released those few videos three days ago, four days ago, right before Diablo 3 released on consoles. And I must say that with the limited time that I actually do have, I did happen to finish the first act of Diablo 3 on PC. And for anybody wondering if the first act is even worth getting through on console if they have not played the game, I would highly suggest that you buy the game, play the game, and experience it. Because I have not really been so, I guess, enamored with a game story in a while. And Diablo 3, despite what the naysayers may say, to me, it's a very, very fun game. If you're on the console side, Honestly, the way that Blizzard did the controls for the console fits perfectly. In all honesty, the, the, it fits perfectly, and if they would somehow patch the PC version to use a control pad, I would be tempted to actually use a control pad. And mainly, it's not even because of the actual attacks or the actual system itself. It's because they have that role, and ever since I played the console version, I keep pressing the space bar on the PC version thinking that it's going to make me roll but it doesn't so then I just feel stupid <laughs> but anyways if you have not played Diablo 3 the con and you want to just play it on console I would highly suggest playing it on console it is very very it's a very good fit for the console market and with Reaper of Souls uh, announced at Gamescon um, why not you know or if anything you know pick it up on PC then when Reapers comes out, you can do that. Or play it on console when Reapers come out and you have a PC that can play it. Do that. Either way, my suggestion would be play D3. It, it, it's a fantastic game. And, um, yeah. But moving on to what I really want to talk to you guys about is this. Mighty number 9. The spiritual, I guess, FU to Capcom <laughs> um, has reached its funding goal of 900000 uh, Concept USA, the company um, founded, spearheaded by Kiji Inafune, and I hope I said that correctly, reached its $900,000 goal, and Mighty Number no. 9 is fully funded to come out. But in the last four days, they have been able to reach three stretch goals. So, what does that mean? Well, Mighty Number no. 9 is fully funded at 100000 it's coming out for PC, regardless. It's out. But with the stretch goals, uh, starting with the first one at 1.2, there are going to be two more stages developed. At 1.35, which was already reached, there's going to be a Max and Linux version that will be available. And at 1.5, which I believe they reached sometime either late yesterday or... No, sorry, early yesterday or late Tuesday... Uh, we would get a new game plus, a new game plus and turbo mode. I'm gonna assume the new game plus is probably like a super hard version of the game, and the turbo mode will probably be just that, something that's just super fast. Uh, at 1.75, sorry for the fast scrolling, which we are roughly a hundred and twenty thousand dollars away from reaching, we'll be get, we will make a uh, we will get a making of documentary which I would actually be really interested to know how this whole idea of the company and the game came about. Um, I believe knowing the man himself and the company that he worked for, we can kind of have a good uh, estimate of how he got to this point, but I would like to know in full detail from his mouth <laughs> how this came about. And at 2.2 million, we will get a PS3, 360, and Wii U version of the game, which will even stretch the boundaries of where this game can possibly go even further. Uh, we are, as a community, I'm going to say 800, no, not even that, 700,000? I'm going to estimate up to 700,000 away from reaching that goal. I, as a gamer, as a person who has worked in multiple companies in this industry, feel very very warm-hearted i will donate to this cause tomorrow even though they have reached their goal that's not going to stop me from donating and putting in my 20 bucks for this project i have this warm feeling in my heart right now because i wholeheartedly believe that we the gaming community never mind me as a guy who works in industry just as a gamer as a full-fledged red-blooded gamer I am very happy to be a part of this community. I joined this community 
25 years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. I'm 30 years old now, so I've been, you know, part of this community since I was a kid. And having been in it for so long, yes, you know, on the internet we have, you know, we are judged by our worst kind, whether it be the internet trolls, the internet naysayers, or the guys that just have nothing better to do with their lives than to spread negativity. But my number nine Kickstarter, Scorgo Indiegogo campaign, those are prime examples of why we are the best community in the world. We support our own. If we truly believe in a product, if we truly believe in the people that create said product, if we just, if we feel that something needs to be made, we will support it. My number nine has proven that. Skullgirls Indiegogo campaign has proven that. Other Kickstarters for other games have proven that. We are the best effing community in the world. Don't we ever lose sight of that. And for people on the outside looking in saying, oh, well, you can donate that money to the Red Cross so they can actually go help. You know what? You do that. We indirectly, directly affect these people's lives. By funding this game, by finding, by funding Skullgirls, by funding other games, we create jobs indirectly. The government has not done that. I will not go into that at that point, but as I am saying, we are creating jobs. We are making sure that people can stay working, can stay busy, can feel good about their lives and creating something that people want to actually play. We have indirectly created these jobs for these people to perform. And yeah, we do get something out of it. We get an excellent game because I have no doubts in my mind that this game will be an excellent game when it releases. But that's why we are the best community in the world. We support our own. And again, for anybody on the outside looking in, stating that we can be doing something else, look, I give my five bucks to a homeless dude. I'll give him five bucks if he cleans my windows. I'll give him five bucks if I feel real sorry for him. Go eat. You know what I mean? I cut out the middleman. Why the hell do I want to give my money to the Red Cross when I can just give it directly to somebody that will help him automatically? I don't need no middleman for this. And this, this, is, this is just that. But that's all political side of stuff. As a gamer, I'm super, super happy. I'm super, super warm-hearted. Super excited that we're going to get to play Mighty Number no. 9. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And with 26 days to go, I, I honestly do not know where this train will stop. We are amazing peoples. And, um, wow. <laughs> and, um... That's kind of where I want to leave with that warm, gushy feeling inside of you. I need to update that because it is an exciting time and it is an exciting moment. Oh, and the NFL starts today for anybody who's an NFL fan like myself. 49 all the way. But yeah, my number nine, fully funded. Everything's good. So um, this is slated to come out spring 2015. So it's about a year and a half away. But you know what? I think the wait will be well, well worth it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. This has been Corn Beaner. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.